Hello friends and welcome back to Garden Roots and Peas. I am back in my polytunnel and I simply can't believe we're closing in on Christmas already. It feels like summer in here. The greenhouse is at 35 degrees Celsius right now. It's really, really warm and it's sunny and everything is lush and green and growing. And Right now, I wanted to share with you the things you need to do to take care of your polytunnel in the winter. Well, in this case, right now, the only thing that is important is ventilation. That's my dog barking because she hears a siren. So, ventilation is key right now because it gets so hot in here the plants could easily wilt or easily have a, a heat stroke really so you have to open the greenhouse every single day i actually keep it open through the night as well even though it gets cold because if you don't open it you get condensation see there's a lot of moisture kept in the greenhouse so Ideally, you don't want to have this. You want to get rid of all the extra moisture in the greenhouse. Also very important on these hot, sunny days is watering. Your plants, even in winter, need a lot of water. So I usually water my plants very sparsely in the winter. Every two to three weeks if it's cold. And even then, I water my greenhouse on a very warm and sunny day with no frost in forecast. I would rather see my plants to be a little bit on the dry side than for them to freeze over because they were watered too much. But now, when it's really, really hot in here, I like to water them at least once a week, just like in the summer when you have to water them every other day but now they get a really really thorough deep watering once a week so the plants can grow normally when it cools down I will also stop watering because there's enough moisture in the soil itself if you feel it it's all nice and crumbly but you also get your fingers very dirty by touching the soil that's ideal it's not soggy it's not muddy it's just nice and moist the plants will be very happy and will grow nicely if they have any extra moisture they will get rid of it all by themselves with these little droplets All the extra moisture will be shed off the plants. If you have a lot of snow, you have to clean the top of your greenhouse. Not just for the sheer weight of the snow, but also to let in the light. Because in the winter time, not much light comes into the greenhouse because days are very short. I will also be removing this shade cloth. I always have my shade cloth on the inside of the greenhouse because I figured that once you have the shade cloth here, it also helps with one more thing that no one ever considers much. You see, many bugs come into the greenhouse during the summer and they can be really annoying flying into your face and everything, but if you have a shade cloth, they go above the shade cloth and get cooked really sorry and they die and when they die they fall onto the shade cloth and not onto you so we've talked about watering we've talked about ventilation we've talked about snow and shade that's really it you don't have to do much more than that except for harvest you have to harvest your veggies because 
that's why you grow them, right? Well, that's it for now. Thanks for your attention. And please do consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Thank you very much. Bye.